Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I have moved the camera again. <laughs> so I'm trying to get everything kind of situated and it feels really weird because right now I'm looking at you guys going hi. Um, but all I can see is the viewfinder out of my peripheral vision and I just kind of see my hands moving around. But that's okay. Um, so if I'm looking over here, then I'm looking at the viewfinder. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference right now. All I see, if I'm looking at me over here is I see kind of a glare on my glasses, but that's really about it. Anyway, um, so I moved things around again. Surprise. <laughs> I know it's like, will you just stop moving stuff around? Probably not. <laughs> I get obsessive about stuff like this. Um, I was watching some of my other videos from my earlier, earlier videos and, oh man, I was so obsessed with the lighting. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of earlier videos. So I've had a couple of people comment like, uh, dang girl, that was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm not real sure what made me decide to do it, but I decided I was going to go and, um, I was going to reply to every comment ever made to every video. I don't really know why I decided to do that, but I figured, what the hey, why not? So, oh, guess what else I did? I got new scissors. Ah, finally. Um, so I felt like I needed to adjust my lighting is what it was. And when I adjusted my lighting, of course, it messed everything else up, so I had to change my camera, and oops, now that light switch is in my way, very, very much in my way, so I'm going to have to grab that real quick, wait, ah, and y'all are apparently going to go on a journey, <laughs> hmm. It might actually be better like that. Who would have thunk it? Anyway. So I'm making some frames uh, because I have not been in my craft room all day today. I did some orders way early this morning before I left. Um, so many of you do not realize this, but my oldest daughter did not have her driver's license because of... COVID and here, um, they just, they weren't taking any walk-ins like ever. You had to have an appointment and you could only make the appointments on Tuesdays. And so basically she was just never able to get an appointment. Well, that was her Christmas, but well, that was one of her big Christmas presents this year, um, was that my husband ended up making the appointment for her. And, um, so that was today. It was the 29th and, um, but it was an hour away from where we live because we live in a little big town called Goose Creek, South Carolina, which is about 15, 20 minutes from Charleston, South Carolina. Anyway, um, there, uh, the place that he got um, the appointment was in a place called St. George. And um, I'm not sure. That looks kind of cool. I have no idea what I'm doing with this right now. I'm just kind of putting stuff down. Anyway, which is pretty much the story of my life. That's, that's kind of what I do. I just don't really think about things. I just put them down. Because the whole point is to have fun. And if you have to think about it, then in my opinion, it's not very much fun anymore. And it, then it just gets stressful. And crafting is not stressful. Well, for me, crafting should not be stressful. It should just be fun. Anyway, so um, her appointment was over in St. George. I need to find my Tim Holtz scissors because I do not need to be cutting these with these scissors. You know what? I could use my scissors that are 
like not sharp anymore to cut fabric or paper or anything really except for possibly these things. I had some whole scissors somewhere and they've disappeared. Like they've got up and walked away. I'm pretty sure one of my kids stole them is what it was. So anyway, oh, I have to tell you guys something. Okay. So, um, I just thought about it because I'm wearing them right now. Uh, first of all, I'm wearing a shirt that's like three sizes too big. So I'm sorry if I keep doing this because I keep pulling it up. So anyway, and by the way, this shirt used to be too small for me. So I'm like, um, anywho, what was that I'm out? Okay. So St. George, we'll talk about that first. Um, her appointment was at one o'clock. Well, it takes an hour to get there and she wanted coffee. I wanted her to have coffee because, um, she is cranky in the morning. She is not a morning person. She doesn't like being up in the morning. She doesn't like being awake. She doesn't like functioning. She doesn't like moving. So I was going to be in a car with her for an hour. I was like, uh -uh, you need caffeine. So we left at um, 11.15 because where um, we were getting coffee at Starbucks because I don't like the coffee pretty much anywhere else here because this is not Washington. They don't have coffee like Washington does. And if you're from Washington or if you've been to Washington, you know what I'm talking about. They got some good coffee in Washington. Anyway, St. George. So we leave the house around 1115. I get my orders, get them out. Um, they're in the mail. So if you ordered something yesterday or last night or early, early this morning, it's in the mailbox. Well, actually it's gone because they already picked it up. But anyhow, 1115, we leave. And we get there and it's, you know, it's about 1230 and, um, like that one. So anyway, it's about 1230 and, um, Ooh, that one's pretty. And her appointment's at one and she takes her test and she passes. Um, I was a little worried because they had her, um, do like an alley. Uh, cause it was kind of like a, it was weird. It wasn't a normal road test. It was a weird test. It was like a little parking lot where they had mimicked that of what a road would look like with cones and such. And, um, so they were just like, I don't know. It was really weird. So anyway, um, she had to back into an alley and she's in my car, mind you, which those of you who do not know, uh, I drive a 2019 V8 charger. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but that would have been pretty nice for me to take my driver's test in just saying, but I did not have that when I was a kid. Uh, I'm trying to look for something like else. Like I want to try to get the ones that match obviously, but I'm trying to look for something maybe a little bit different here. Oh, that one's pretty. I like the gray. That's really nice. Anyway, so she is taking her test in my car, which my car is, uh, it's a V8 and it's a Hemi. So as soon as you even think about the gas pedal, it's like, vroom, go. So she was scared to drive it for a while, but we hadn't backed into a like confined space. We've done backing up and whatnot like that. Cause I mean, she's had plenty of practice cause she's had her permit for three years. So she's had plenty of practice. Um, ooh, that one's nice. I like that one, but we hadn't done a lot of the backing up in confined spots. Um, you know, I think I'm going to do this a different way. I got something today and I'll do an actual haul video on this later. 
I'm not doing it today because I've done two haul videos back to back and y'all are probably like, okay, enough already. But um, that's the story of my life. I shop a lot. So anyway, I got this from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it right now. So surprise. Okay, I got this from the Dollar Tree. There's my haul for the day. Um, there we go. Ah, ah, okay, go over there, go over there, go over there, and go over there, okay, so anyway, oh, that's interesting, oh, no, okay, no. so, where was I, ah, yes, she was backing into a confined space, and I was very worried, but she did really well, um, she got points marked off for not signaling. And I told her, I was just like, girl, I would have not signaled too, because it's in a parking lot. It's like really hard to keep that train of thought that you're on an actual road when you're in a parking lot. So it's like, I would have gotten marked off for that too. Okay, so I'm finding a lot of these like peach ones, which is really cool because that matches like my color scheme really, really well for most every project I ever do, like ever. Um, but I think I want to do some accent pieces here. I don't know that I'm going to use this one, not on these. Mm, there's a white. And these are handmade flowers. Some of them aren't, but these are. Like I can tell the difference between these. These are really, really, really cool. And again, if you guys don't remember from yesterday's video, I got these from Miss Katiri. Um, I don't know if she's going to continue to do live sales or not. Um, but, ooh, that is really pretty. But... That's where I got them from. There's a pink. Um, oh, that one's pretty cool. And I've also got um, some other ones here. Some butterflies. Oh my gosh, okay. I probably should have done this part like before I hit the play button. But do I think of things like that? No. Alright. Um Okay. Um and then this guy is over here. Okay, so, and y'all get to see, like, me gallivant through my rooms. Like, I'm constantly grabbing stuff out of my room. Okay, so, like, some of these pink ones I think would be really cool. Um, I want to use this pink one right here. Not sure about the butterflies, but we'll stick them over there. But I want this one right here. That's the one that I want. Oh, someone's getting yelled at. I told the kids to clean the kitchen after dinner because it's like 7 o'clock here. Um, actually, it's almost 8. Um, and so I told the kids to clean uh, clean the kitchen up because I needed to get in here and get recording something. <laughs> something. I kind of like the pink and the peach together. All right, so let's take this off. I don't want this. We're gonna, we're gonna take that off. All right, that's off. Now let's figure out what we're gonna do here. So we've got two layers, one here and 
Um, it looks like just the one, but I f it feels like there could be another one there. Okay. So let's try. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I like that a lot. Oh, actually. Okay, and then we can do, oh, I've got more flowers over here. Oh my gosh, I have flowers upon flowers. My flowers have flowers. It's crazy. Is that a thing? Like, that's a thing, right? I also have this little bit of lace trim thingy. Uh, I sold the rest of it today. Um... About white. That's kind of neat. Mm. Got a cream in here too. I think the cream might look better. Then again, it might not look good at all. How about this? That's cool. I actually like the simplicity of this. So there's those. Let's put those together real quick. Hmm. I think I kind of want, I want something and I don't know what, but I want something to go up here. Maybe if I do some butterflies to go with it. So we've got green here and yellow. There's a pink. I don't know why, but I really like that blue thing up there. I guess because it's different. It's this one. Okay, I like this. Okay, I go with that. All right, so anyway, um, what was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about, but we're going to go back to St. George because that was fun. Um, and I think I'm going to use the art glitter glue here. Um, so after she gets her license, we're going back home. And she's like, mom, the speed limit's 70. And I'm going with the traffic for the most part. Um, but there are still people passing me left and right. And I looked down and I was like, I'm aware. She's like, but you're going 86. And I was like, yep. And you notice how all these people are still passing me? 
Yeah. Um, like I'll go with the flow of traffic to a point. I'm not going to do 120 on the interstate because people are impatient. Um, but I have these little dots all over the place from this thing. I might actually need to do this with hot glue. I think I'm going to need to do this with hot glue. Because I just don't think it's going to stay with hot glitter glue. I don't think it grabs fast enough. I don't know. Can you guys see what I'm doing okay? Like, I want to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. But at the same time, I need my space to move stuff around. I just had to move my waxes because um, I have um. What are they called? Like their finishing waxes or something like that? I don't remember what they're called, but anyway. Yeah, like this is like not, oh my gosh, not staying at all. Between the hot glue and the art glitter glue, hopefully it'll stay. Oops, I forgot those weren't attached. <laughs> anyway, so I've got to get some of these done. Anyway, she she got like super serious after she got her license. She's like, I've always been like this. I was like, no, you haven't. <laughs> you were like super chill, relaxed. Now all of a sudden you're like... Mom, you know the speed limit 70, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Thanks. I could just do three. Come here. Where are you? Oh, or we could do one down here. That looks silly. I need more of a flat one, I think, to go over here. Like, this is really pretty, but I think I need more of a flat one to go over here. Mm. And these are recollections, flower embellishment thingy mail bubbers. Um, I got these many, many moons ago when back in the day when they had like super amazing coupons and such. Which I'm sure they have still have super amazing coupons and such. I just don't go to Michael's because of where it is.
you know what? Let's do it this way. I'm just going to rip this up. I don't like this. Okay. There we go. That is better. Because this isn't the right style. This is a different style going on over here. And this is one style. There we go. Easy peasy. It's not working. Take it out. All right. So, hey, look on my frame, dude. It's trying to steal my frame. I saw you. All right. I'm going to cut this down just a little tiny bit. Okay. There we go. I guess the wire cutters would have been better. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay. And this little thing right here came in this bag full of flowers. All right, and then where'd my flower go? There we go. I'm gonna pull this up. We're gonna move it. Uh-oh. Nope, 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 nope. Now my beads are trying to come off my thingy. I don't have my wire grippery thingies here. Nope. Grab another one. All right, let's grab it down here so I can take the mesh off without pulling my beads off. All right. Okay. Oh, and then I could actually add a third one too. Oh, something just fell down, go boom. All right. Um, oh, also, if you're wondering what to do with frames like these, Miss Gail has featured them a couple times on her um, videos. She puts them on covers of journals. Ow! Yes, get hurt. Uh, anyway, so she puts them on covers of journals and such. 
Um, you can put them on your wall. Put them on your desk. I like to like decorate places and things and like, I mean, a lot of you have already seen my workspace um, in the sense of like my glue bottles are all decorated. Um, my containers that I have my stuff in normally don't look like this because they're, that's just plain. Normally they're pretty, pretty decorated. Okay, that's pretty cool. All I like that. Okay. All right. And then, and then, I'm loading that up with glue because I'm just going to put it right down on the middle of this and push down. All right. Oh, these beads are falling all over the place. Oh, that is so, so cool. All right. Key. That is very neat. So, and what's really great is these little guys, they're on wire so they can bend and be different shapes or whatever. But that, that's really, really neat. So there's, there's one. All right. What's the time? 33 minutes. You think we could do another one? I think we could do another one. Let's grab another one. We're going to do, um, oi, no. <laughs> I have other stuff up here. It's like trying to fall down. Go boom. Okay. Let's do this one and let's go with got this really really pretty pink trim and we're gonna play with that if I can get the tape off of it all right okay so I think I want to go all the way around. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so. Boop. All right. Can you see this? My new scissors actually cut. It's amazing what sharp scissors will do. So y'all are going to have to let me know if you like the haul videos because I do shop other places other than like my wholesale places that I'm obviously not going to share with you guys. 
but I do shop at normal everyday places like Amazon and um, Dollar Tree and stuff like that. I don't really go to Michael's or Joann's. Um, I went to Joann's um, the day after Christmas because they had 70% off of storage and I needed to get new uh, more, more storage because I kind of found some beads. I like the beads. Um, by the way, if you guys haven't already taken a look, um, Miss Danielle does have a lot of de-stash beads. And I know a lot of you really enjoy working and playing with beads. They are glass beads. Um, so they are really, really, really good quality. Um, and I love this. It's fuzzy. It's like, I don't, I really doubt this is true velvet, but it has that feel to it. It's really cool. Um, I know some people, I don't know that I know any on this channel, but I do know that some people have a sensitivity develop, develop to um, velvet. Kind of like how I do with the, um, like that weird, 3D texture that you can get on like cards and stuff like that. Like I, I can't touch stuff like that. Um, bottle caps to like plastic water bottles. I have a hard time touching those. Um, like it's, it's pretty ridiculous actually, <laughs> but I make it work. All right, so hopefully I can get these guys done, get some more uh, done, and get those up. Because like I said, I've, I've had people uh, messaging me through my Etsy like, hey, are you getting more frames? Like, I'm working on it. I promise. I can't keep them in stock. I'm pretty sure there's one. Anything that is even remotely shabby is gone. And, um, I didn't even make any wintry ones. I just made like shabby esque, uh, kind of fantasy themed ish, like a uh, woodland. I think there's still like a woodland one, uh, still up there. I think that's the only one that's still up there. I think. All right. So I'm going to set this aside. I am done with this. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, what else do I have that I can play with? All right. Um, Let's do that. And these are some of the trims that I got from um, Miss Esme. I linked her YouTube channel um, and you can get all the information and whatnot. Um, because her Facebook group is a private group. You have to request to join. Um, and you have to answer questions, I believe. It's been a minute. I, I believe there are questions. Um, there's rules, you know, with most Facebook groups. Um, but I just linked her channel because it's the easiest way to, um, for me to link things because I'm on the YouTube most often. Um, that's really pretty. I like that. All right. So we're going to go with bleh, that. I'm going to use a Fabri-Tac because I don't necessarily need this to seal down right this second. And it'll be easier, I think, to try to manipulate. All right. 
right, so I am going to need this, this parchment paper. Okay. About that. Come back here. Oh, so um, I was going to tell you guys, I got distracted talking about St. George. Um, I was going to tell you, I went to Target today and um, I got a pair of pants. I just, I don't know why I instinctively grabbed the size I did, but I grabbed an extra large and I got home and I put them on and they fit like I haven't worn an extra large in a hot minute like I just kind of instinctually went to extra large because that's the shirt that I'm in now like the shirt that I'm wearing right now is a 3x which is why it's falling off of my body um and I should have changed the shirt before I turned the camera on to be honest with you but I was comfortable <laughs> and so yeah anyway um so yeah so I wear an extra large in my shirt so I was just like ah, I wear an extra large in pants I didn't think about it until after I got home and I was like I really hope these fit and I put them on and I still have them on because they are just so comfortable I am so proud of myself that I had to share that with you guys um, so I haven't actually lost any weight over the holidays. I'm still down 30 pounds, which is what I was before all of the holiday, um, shenanigans with all the food galore happened. Um, I was still down 30 pounds before I, right before I quit smoking. Uh, my doctor says I'm down an extra three pounds. My doctor actually puts me down at, um, 37 pounds down. And I'm just like, I'll take it. That's not what my skill says. My skill says I'm only down 30 pounds, but we'll go with yours. Yours puts me at a better number. So anyway, um, I was pretty excited for that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let's see what else do I have over here. What kind of wood pieces and buttons and such do I have? What you got? Oh, that's a metal piece. Ooh, you're pretty. Um, I have a couple. You're pretty. Let's play with you. Alright, so I feel like I should probably put something here for this one. Um, let's see. Anyway, I was really excited because I was just like, dude, I haven't worn, I haven't worn an extra large in a minute. And I'm drinking my pretty water. For those of you who don't know what my pretty water is, it is a, um, there are carbonated flavored waters mixed in with crystal light. So I've like basically created my own soda, if you will. Because I like soda. <laughs> I used to drink Dr. Pepper all the time. Like I always had Dr. Pepper out, man. All right, so let's oh, let's do the pink and black. Oh, I don't know if that'll go though, because that is not it's not the right metal. Oh, fiddle fart. Mm. It's the wrong metal. I'll have to keep them out though. Because I want to play with those. All right, so we'll keep those out. Um, we'll probably do some more of these because um, I have a 
I have a lot to do. Uh, let's see, what can I do with you? I'm just looking at my doilies right now. I have a couple of those. Okay, those are ginormous. I don't want to do anything with those. That's pretty cool. All right, let's clean up the fuzz. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with hot glue on this one. Let's close up my Fabri-Tac before it closes itself up. All right, so. Just gonna go to the back of this. Ooh, that's warm. Yeah, just in case you guys didn't know, it's not warm glue, it's hot glue. Yeah, just in case, just in case you guys were curious, you know. I figured some of you might be. It's just a wild guess. Oh my gosh, my head's been hurting like off and on today. It's really bizarre though, because it's not like a normal migraine. It almost feels like a headache, which is super weird because if it's a headache, that's the second one I've gotten in the last four months. Which is really weird because I don't get headaches. I get migraines. It's bizarre. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, is that the right way? Yeah. Okay. I really like that. I like that a lot. All right, there was one flower in particular. Let's see, do I have another one of these? No. Yes. Right there. That is so pretty and so elegant. I might take the green off though. Mm, do I want to take the green off? I think I like it better by itself. Okay. So this one's actually going to have to go down primarily with the E6000. Or not primarily, but at least right here at that join point. I was just kind of spreading it around a little bit. Those were not attached. Now there's that if I keep throwing it around. Okay. Now let's do this. Like a giant 
glue stick. Hmm. Not really that worried about that part. Ow! You know what I've seen a lot of people use, and I have yet to find one. Apparently, you can find them at the Dollar Tree, but I've yet to find them at the Dollar Tree. And that's the um, the silicone brushes. Uh, and I thought about it because a lot of people use them when working with hot glue. Um, but I have yet to find one. Y'all should let me know if y'all can find one. Like, I'll buy it. I just don't have them here. And I've got like 17 different Dollar Trees here. Alright. Excuse you. Let go. Okay. So we've got one here. And don't need the little black fuzz. And one there. Ow. My neck just popped. Did y'all hear that? That was crazy. Oh, you know what? That's cool. Let's see what can I put here? I like them better at the top. We're gonna do it. I like them better at the top. What's that called? Don't think, just glue. It's a thing, right? Okay. All right, so there we go. Okay, so I really like that, and I don't think you guys can see it, but these flowers here actually have sparkly sparkles on them. Sparkly sparkles. Okay, um... I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to put one right there, right at the top. So these are little plasticky blingy blings. I do have something similar to this in the store. It is similar. It's not the exact same design. But I think it's like 10 for a dollar or something like that. I am dropping everything tonight oh my gosh i don't even know where that one went oh my goodness gracious me oh i found it it was hiding in all of the packs of paper that i've got down there All right, so let's do it this way since that's not going to work. Let's see where we want this guy. Do we even want anything right there? I think that looks kind of cool. I think we're just going to leave it, actually.
All right, I think I'm just going to leave it to let the E6000 work. I kind of wish I had more of these, uh, these guys here. Um, let's see. I don't think I do. Another one of those. No, I do not. That's pretty, but I don't know. Oh, I do have another one. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. Okay. Um. Those are two different colored grays. That might actually work out to our benefit, though. Let's see. What have we got? Love this. What time are we at? All right. Y'all wanted longer videos. Ooh, now it's a photo. This one's almost an hour long. Oh, this one's even darker. Oh, we could do all three. Hey, come here. We could do all three. Oh, this one's on a stick. <laughs> um, one's different. Still gray. Oh, here's one too. Mm. What do I want? And we'll do these. We'll do the matchy match ones. All right. Okay. So. All right. Mm. And, okay, fine. Ow. I got my finger. All right. Let go. Oh my gosh, it's touching everything. It touched my flower. You're not supposed to touch the flower glue. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. Okay, so this one still has to draw because it's got E6000 up here holding that guy together. Um, but we've got this one here super elegant and then we've got this one here which is very shabby springy is there a shabby spring theme a springy shabby i don't know it's pink it's pretty and it's butterflies so we did both of those today and um i had fun it's been a while since I've been able to just like, you know, turn the camera on and just craft. It's fun. I should do it more often. 
But I like that idea. Somebody had mentioned to like intermingle the um, the longer videos with the shorter videos. I might do that and just have like um, a couple videos a week maybe that are a little bit longer so I can um, so I can do more with you guys because I feel like I can't really do a lot in 20 minutes. I mean, I work really fast, but I'm not Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll do some more pondering on that one. But I do like that idea of kind of intermingling and, you know, putting the, the, the long with the short and, you know, having both of them there. That way people have options, you know. So anyway, um, that's what we did today. And I think they turned out super cute. Um, so I'm going to get pictures of these and hopefully by the time you guys see this, I hope they will still be in the, in the shop. Um, if not, I'm sorry, people are asking for them. So I have to get them up in the shop, like as soon as possible. So, um, I'm going to get pictures of the ears and I'm going to put them up tonight and, um, hopefully they'll still be there in the morning when you guys see this at five o'clock. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a very wonderful day and don't forget, be kind to one another and enjoy what you're doing. So we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.